I will return. Thank you. And she leaves, and as soon as she passes by, you can see the uh, the elven man who was originally here enters, kind of giving a bow of respect towards the uh, scribe warden. And, and behind, you see entering, looks to be a male gnome with kind of a curly mop of red hair, blue eyes, and uh, cobalt soul attire, familiar to you guys who've been by the archives in Zadash, uh, comes in with himself kind of a pair of his own large, wide spectacles to match the dwarven woman who met you at the front. And as he steps in, I, uh, hello, sorry, I was called here for someone. Yeah, it's me. Right, right, uh, I was in the middle of, of my research. Cool. What? Uh, you weren't chatting? Certainly. Are you here as well studying the moons? <laughs> Absolutely. Are you a specialist? I am. Well, uh, 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 please tell me all about your uh, your mission here. I'm curious. Me too. <laughs> Him too. Right. All right. Who are you both with? Uh, I'm actually from the Cobalt Soul from D- Zadash. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Are you as well? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Make a deception check. <laughs> Rip. Rip. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, twenty-four. Wonderful. Wonderful to, to meet others. It's so far north here. Mm-hmm. I felt a bit isolated for some time, so it's very exciting to meet other scholars. Oh. Um, so it only work. Oh, very, very. <laughs> um, so, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm primarily researching Ruidis, uh, the smaller of our moons. Uh, oh, wow. So I'm, I'm Ruidis. If, Ruidis. Yes, you know. Yeah. So you do know that there are, there are, there are two, two moons of, of, of Alexandria. There's Katha, which is the main moon. That's the one that's largely associated with the Moonweaver and the the bright one that you know was of the sky. And there's Ruidus, who's the secondary moon, which is kind of a, a dull brown color, is much smaller and further, and is like mostly not visible throughout most of the day, and usually only during certain points of night. Um, uh, so I, I'm. I'm uh, hoping and working here with the Woodset auditors to uh, uh, see if there is a, you know, some of some information that may have been recovered from the ruins of Malayasmia. Uh, and uh, uh, so far, it's been a lot of um, false leads, but I'm working on that. Anyway, uh, what have you been been looking for? What is your what is your process? Uh, please tell me anything. anything. Oh, what was your name, by the way? So no, I'm sorry. Uh, no. <laughs> Archivist Demid Sunlash. 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 Archivist Demid? Demid, yes. Demid? <clears throat> kind of raises his glasses a bit. And he's got a look, I mean, he's tiny. Like, even for a gnome, he's kind of slightly hunched in his shoulders and probably comes up to mid thigh for you, Beauregard. Okay. Um, and just kind of just looking up at both of you. You said your focus was on Ruidis. A person, yes. It's yeah. the one that we know the least about. Mm. Um, we know a bit more about Katha, actually. Understood, most do. It's a. Uh, yeah, it's mostly yes, just yeah. folklore elements. There isn't a lot of specific study on it these days, which yes. is why I'm, I find it such a fascinating subject. What have you found so far? Ah, uh, well, yeah, it's been a bit um, dry so far. Hoping. I mean, the, the standard, uh, you know, beliefs of various cultures across Alexandria of it being a, an entity yeah. of ill omen. Uh, you know. Right. Yeah, speaking of the ill omen thing, we've actually been trying to research uh, the coalescence between the moon cycles and like beasts and fiends that happen because maybe there's a correlation. Do you have you heard of anything? It, uh, I mean, th- that is very possible. Uh, mm-hmm. the, you know, the moon cycles themselves are uh, distinctly related to uh, various uh, entities, whether it be, be a beast or curses or mm. uh, creatures themselves that are nocturnal, you know, Demons. that come out by Carthus light to hunt. Demons. Um, de- Demons. Now, there is a lot of interesting uh, thoughts and ideas about Katha. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. about, about Rudis. Rudis itself, uh, some are believed to have been either a, a pre creation, uh, back when the elements themselves were consuming all of Alexandria. But okay. others believe may have not originally existed, may have been a creation by the Betrayer Gods, and was some sort of long running mysterious plot that was cut short during the end of the Calamity, and when they were banished away. That's what I'm certainly curious about. You think demons, co- demons come from the moon? I don't. Some people do. Okay. White dragons? Anything with that? 
Those aren't demons. I d- no, I know. It's just don't follow up, but, but do anything, please. You know, just it's separate, you know, we've been getting pings, and you know, what's a demon, what's a dragon? I don't know, have you heard anything about a white dragon? <laughs> Very di- distinctly different creatures, white dragons and demons. And there are many varieties of both. No, actually. I know. But people are stupid, though. Have you heard anything <laughs> about a white dragon? In the area specifically. Yeah. I've, I, no, I've okay. been, it's been here for about a year and a half. <laughs> it's not really mm-hmm. going anywhere. <laughs> Sorry. But if I hear anything, I'll send word to Zidash, don't worry. I mean, he doesn't know anything about white yeah, dragons. I don't think you can ask any more times. What about you? Uh, what, what have been your findings? <laughs> well, it's illusory, really. It's mm-hmm. as you say. It's everything is shrouded in myth and legend. It's uh, mostly course, superstition. Course, yeah. Some people say it's made of cheese. Yeah. yeah. Oh, what? Who? People. Oh, people. But I said they're dumb. Interest. Is there a particular culture that believes this? Because I mean, uh, yes, uh, Whitestone. Uh, mm-hmm. Whitestone. Part of the local myth and legend in Whitestone. Mm-hmm. Tell Dory, such an uncultured land. Yeah. Interesting. I'll right, make yeah. note of this and bring it back. I wonder how far that goes. All right. Thank you for that nugget of information. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, a question. Yes. You know, they're kind of being a little um, by the books, no pun intended, about letting us. View the archives. Right, right. Of course, you have to respect the way they do their business. Oh no, I absolutely <laughs> do. I mean, we wouldn't let just anyone peruse our libraries openly without course. interest. <laughs> but and I mean, gives us, you know, free reign to spread the information. Uh, they they don't fall under this same uh, form of religious interest, so they're mm-hmm. a little more protective. Understandably too, because this place is very remote and not involved with local politics, and does not want to be, a, you know, a continuous yeah. draw of open information yeah, that would be an unwanted can, like, intention. Yeah, this. okay. You, guys, you think you can uh, give us the, the, the hookup, say something, maybe let us go in, like probably. get a little look-see? <laughs> I, I, I go through the same, one, but no, two, I, uh, it doesn't You know, do a little <laughs> research. Fellow moon archivist. Yeah. Yeah. Moon. Tell you what, yes. <laughs> what I can do is show you my notes on Catherine Ruidis. <laughs> well, I'll take what I yeah, can yeah, get. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, sure. Want to share. Right. Not now. Too many prying eyes and ears, but Perhaps, <clears throat> uh, perhaps in the next two days, if interested, you could go ahead and meet me. Uh, let's see what would work here. We could meet at two days. the tumbled tank. Oh, it's a bit of a CD place, but uh, uh, I think we, no one will pay mind of our interest, and I can tell you all about what I found. This is not much, but it's interesting. Tumble what now? Tumble Tinkers. to two. It's basically the D&D equivalent of the Denny's parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing good is gonna You're not there. wrong. No. <laughs> you don't go there, you wind up there. You wind up there. A CD shop? It's a CD shop. CD shop? Yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> I know the Denny's parking lot all too well. Uh, yeah, no. Red Hot Chili Peppers, yeah! 